lead, copper, uranium. These are all contaminants that are tested for in our water, and you'll find them in various water reports. Many groups do their own reporting, including SAWS, state and federal agencies, and nonprofits. Sarah Acosta spoke with SAWS to understand what's in our water and what it truly means when we see these chemicals show up in these reports. San Antonio Water Authority, known as SAWS, tests our local water every year to make sure it's in compliance with the Environmental Protection Agency's Safe Water Act. We test our drinking water over 7,000 times every year. Some of the chemicals we see on these annual reports can be alarming, like radioactive contaminants like uranium. But as SAWS explains, all water, even bottled water, has contaminants in it, even when federally tested. If you look over here... Ann Hayden with SAWS says when we see the list of contaminants on water quality reports, it doesn't necessarily indicate the water poses a health risk. We're required to show the highest reading at any one time. That reading is not an average. She explains the numbers you see on the report are measured in parts per million, some in parts per billion, most so small they are not detectable. Uranium, the highest one, was 1.3 parts per million. It's not something that you need to worry about. But it's not just local utility plants that release water quality reports. The nonprofit Environmental Working Group manages a database that collects water reports and EPA reports. If you look up San Antonio Water on EWG's website, it says there are nine contaminants detected above health guidelines. Hayden says EWG's guidelines are much stricter than the federal guidelines. Those are showing above their level of what they think safe is. When we reached out to the EWG, they directed us to their website that explains their health guidelines come from their own research and go above the federal requirements. It makes it sound a little scary, but these are minute amounts in there. I think they're representing them high. She recommends when reading water quality reports, take them with a grain of salt and says SAWS works very hard to maintain its water quality. We live here, our families live here, so we want to make sure that they're safe as well. For The Nine, I'm Sarah Costa. This story came to us from a viewer from our San Antonio questions page. The viewer asked if San Antonio water was federally in compliance and to explain the Environmental Working Group's report. If you have any questions you want answered, you can go to our website at ksat.com slash SAQ. Myra.